In this video, I will show you the correct way to import text into ZapPrompt Pro from Microsoft Word or any other word processor. We will be utilizing the import text function in the file menu of ZapPrompt Pro. But first, let's prepare our script. There are two file formats that are supported by ZapPrompt Pro. The first format is the rich text format or the .rtf format and the second format is plain text format which is the .txt format. So in Microsoft Word the default the default format is going to be a .doc format which won't be supported by ZapPrompt Pro. So we need to take our document and convert it into one of these two formats. So let me show you how that's done. Let's go ahead and open Microsoft Word. Now as you can see in Microsoft Word we have a sample script open. It has some formatting, some underlining, text format changes, and some different things like that. What we want to do is just simply select File Save As from the file menu of Microsoft Word. From this window, we're going to select that we want to save it as a rich text format. This will change it from a DOC format to the .rtf format. Now we're going to give this a name. We'll just call this the sample. RT script for rich text. It'll automatically assign the RTF to the back of it. So we'll select save. Now that this file has been created, what we've done is we've created a file that will keep all the formatting. By formatting I mean that where it's bold it'll remain bold, where it's underlined it'll remain underlined, and where you have any other major formatting changes, all those formatting changes are going to be retained in the file. Now that we've saved the file we need to close Microsoft Word because you can't have a file open in two applications. So right now we're gonna close Microsoft Word. So within Zapron Pro we'll select File, Import Script, and select the format for rich text format. Select the sample RT script that we just created and select Open. As you can see, all of our formatting was retained. Where the text was underlined, it remained underlined. Where it was bold, it remained bold. The one bit of formatting that will never import correctly into ZapPrompt Pro is text color. Because the text in ZapPrompt Pro needs to be white text on a black background, so the RTF reader will automatically turn all text colors white. So if you're going to do tick color highlightings, the best thing is to import your scripts into ZapPrompt Pro and then make your color highlighting changes. Okay, so let's get rid of this. We'll say File, New Script. We'll disregard the changes here. And we'll open up our Microsoft Word document again. So now that we have our sample script open again, we're going to go ahead and save it in the plain text format. When you save a file in the plain text format, no text formatting at all is saved. All you have to do to save it in the plain text format is to select your Save As function again for Microsoft Word, select plain text from the drop down menu. We're going to give this a name to be Sample. PT for plain text and then we'll select save. On the next window you're going to get your Microsoft Word file conversion window. In this window we're going to make some changes to make sure that none of the formatting is saved with the script and that it'll import into ZapPrompt Pro without any problems. So we're going to select other encode from this window and then in our little scroll bar here, we're going to select the US-ASC2 standard, and then we'll also select Allow Character Substitution. Then we'll select Save. Now that this file has been saved, again we'll close Microsoft Word, and from in ZapPrompt Pro, we're going to say File, Import Text, then we'll select the plain text format, we'll get, we'll We'll then select the sample PT script and select open. 
As you can see, the script has now been loaded into the script editor of ZapPrompt Pro. Now you might wonder how come the font size is so large when we use plain text format and it was so small when we used the rich text format. The reason for that is with the rich text format, if you remember, text formatting was retained, which means that it was already a small text when we imported it, so that text formatting, which would have been font size, was retained when the file was opened in ZapPrompt Pro. With plain text format, it's a lot different. The RTF reader will take the plain text and open it with all of the default values for a new script in ZapPrompt Pro. That's how come it's opened always in the same font and always at the same font size. I prefer using the plain text format because once you get the text into ZapPrompt Pro, you can do all of your formatting here. You can do your color highlights here. You can change, do your bold, underline, italic, even change the font type. All these changes will be visible in the scrolling canvas and when you save this file as a .zap or a ZapPrompt Pro file, it will open every single time the same way. Now within ZapPrompt Pro, there's also a function that you can turn a script back into a rich text file to be opened back in Microsoft Word and that is to do it the same way you did it from Word or whatever word processor you're using by selecting File, Save As, and then select plain text from the drop down menu, give it a name, we'll leave untitled here, and save it. So that's how you get text from a word processor into ZapPrompt Pro correctly. Thank you for watching this video.